Hi everyone and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I am Lorna, I'm a part-time eBay reseller. Um, I flip clothing, um, vintage and modern, although vintage dresses are my favourite thing to pick up. Um, we're off to two, maybe three car boots today. Um, it is kind of cloudy, bit fresh, but hopefully there'll be a lot of people there. Um, going to go around, see what I can find, and then later I'm going to show you what I've picked up. So I've just got back to the car after car boot number one. Um, really happy with some of my pickups today. Uh, got some really nice vintage dresses, skirt. Um, off to car boot number two now. This hasn't been so good for me recently. Um, only been a couple of times, but it's hasn't really been my kind of thing. Um, but we're going to go and give it a go. Probably be the last time I head to that one unless I sort of pick up some good things today. Okay, I am back from a long day of car boots. My favourite pickup of the day um, is something that I always look out for at car boots, but I rarely find. Um, it's this vintage Laura Ashley skirt. It's the standard Laura Ashley um, floral design, which goes so well. Um, and the best bit is that it is um, I don't know if that's going to focus, probably not, but the label here is a Made in Great Britain label, um, which dates it at around um, early 80s, I think. I haven't actually sold um, Laura Ashley skirts before, I've sold a few dresses and they just go so well. Um, so I kind of looked at the, the completed and saw that... Um, I was kind of expecting maybe 15, 20 pound, but some of them were going sort of kind of similar to this are going for almost 50. Um, so I'm not sure what I'll put it on for. I'm going to have to do a bit more research on that one, but it cost me one pound 50. Lovely skirt. Best pickup of the day by far. Also at that one, I picked up a modern, um, I'm not sure if it's a, it's either a really short dress or a really long top. Nice floral design on it, um, kind of paisley pattern. Um, as I said, it's either a very short dress or a very long top. Not sure, I'll have to try it on and see how much leg is covered in that one. Um, but yeah, brand new, still with the with the tags on. Um, Joe Browns, I love selling Joe Browns. They go, I find that they go pretty quick. This one is a size eight, which is the only problem, but um, they don't tend to sell so, quite so well for me, size eights, but for three pound for brand new Joe Browns, I had to pick it up. Um, next up at the, um, at the last car boot is this dress. So I'm gonna have to look into it um, and try and work out whether it is actually vintage or not, but it was two pound. It's got a lovely pleated skirt on it. It's long sleeve, which I think goes well. Nice floral design, belt actually attached with it. Yeah, I'll have to work out the sizing and everything with that one. But for two pound, I thought it was a nice, love a pleated skirt. So that was all that I got from the last car boot. Um, so the one before was the, the one that's about an hour drive away. Um, went a couple of weeks ago. It was a bit meh, um, weren't many people there, lots of traders just sort of selling antiques, which isn't obviously what I'm into. If the one guy hadn't have been there, I'd have picked up one skirt, so thank goodness he was there. Um, now, I got a bit of a bundle from him. The pricing was a bit strange, so a woman asked how much a blouse was, and he said it was a fiver, and he said that, because I was buying so many, he dropped the price to £3 each. I think in the end, we'll see in a minute, but I think I ended up with seven, six dresses and a skirt. So it should have come to about £21. He said he'd give me one for free because um, I was buying so many and then charged me £15. So bit of a random one. But first up is this, it's like a checkered print, um, like a plaid tea dress. Um, it's a St. Michael, M&S St. Michael, um, size 14, and I love picking up St. Michael. I find it goes really well. It's just a classic, obviously Marks and Spencers, 
it has a market. I think with this pattern, this should, I'll put it up for ooh, 12, 15 pounds. Now this one is so 80s, it hurts. Um, it's this gold kind of leopard print, shiny three quarter length sleeved, oh, short sleeves actually, top with just a, like a peplum um, top and then a plain black skirt attached. It's so cool, I love it. I wouldn't ever wear it. I don't know where you'd wear it. A 80s convention, I guess, maybe. Uh, it's shiny, it's gold, it's leopard print. It's kind of amazing and hideous at the same time. So I don't really know what I'm gonna put that one on for. Maybe, maybe try and get 20 for that one. Um, Kind of similar design for this one in terms of um, with the peplum. It's actually got a belt as well, which is cool. Um, bit of a shorter one, this one. So again, black skirt, green... Um, I don't even know what pattern it is. Um, but yeah, classic 80s. Like, I'm pretty sure somebody wore one exactly like this in Sister Act 2, which is like the best film ever. So, although that was early 90s, so... It is nice, but um, yeah, really cool. Um, especially for if it does work out to be just over two pounds, like two pound ten, two pound twenty, then um, yeah, great, even better. So also, these are all from the same guy in this bundle. So I've got this one. It's got a belt, lots with belts, which is great. The amount of dresses that I've got that have got belt holes but no belts, which is frustrating. <laughs> but this one. Just a really casual um, tea dress. It's a size 16, so it has a label um, in macaroon, apparently. Um, and it's actually been designed for, Al it's Alsi, but it says Little Woods on the back, um, which is cool. Just casual, lightweight, really nice, summery, vintage tea dress. Should get, again, I'll probably aim for 15 on that one. Um, that tends to be my kind of go-to unless it's something special or unless there's damage. So this one, I picked this up because I put a, a checkerboard like plaid colour dress up the other day and it went within 10 minutes. But it's a size 18, so a really good size. I find I sell a lot of vintage that's um, size 18 to 20. That tends to go best for me. So happy with that. It's um, again long sleeve. The buttons seem to be on the sleeves, which is always good and something that I always forget to check. But they're really nice buttons, actually. Really nice. Again, just a casual kind of daytime midi dress. Um, yeah. Like that one again. I'll probably put about 15 on that one. Um, this one was the first one that I grabbed from him actually. I always go for these pastel pink colours. Um, but it's classics, size 16. I don't think it's, it didn't seem like it's a button up one, although it's got a, it's put a, um, a safety pin in there, but I'm not quite sure. Perhaps they did pin it, it, it doesn't really have buttons. It doesn't have button holes, so I don't think it's missing buttons. Um, I think it's just the design, so I guess um, perhaps it was a bit bit wide there, so they've just um, done it up with the, um, with the safety pin, perhaps. That would kind of make sense, but again, it's just a really nice um, 80s, I'd say, with the shoulder pads. Which is a really nice tea dress, really summery, really floral, um, elasticated waist by the looks too. So yeah, it's just that neckline that might be a bit, bit of a harder sell. Um, I'll have to see how it looks on the mannequin. Um, and the last, I think the last one from him was just this casual um, St Michael skirt again, made in the UK, 14. Um, super cute red pink red probably um pleated skirt i keep saying i won't buy skirts i'm not a fan of selling skirts compared to dresses so yeah but this one is just really nice plaid i can see someone just wearing that in the summer 
I might put 12 on that just because of the pattern. Maybe 10. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have a look. But yeah, the fact is the St. Michael is a good seller too. Um, so that was everything from him. So yeah, I did get seven from him at £15. So that's what, like £2.15 a dress and skirt. So can't go wrong with that one. Um, I also... There's something heavy in the box. Oh, bought some bin bags while I was there. So that's not to resell. I was thinking that seems really heavy. What else have I got in here? Um, so this one, as I was saying, I don't buy skirts. I saw this one. I think I picked this one up before I got to that guy. So I was kind of thinking I've driven like 60, 70 miles to be here round trip and I'm going to go home with nothing. So I thought I'm going to buy this skirt. But um, yeah, again, really nice vintage pattern, actually, to be fair. It's floaty, it's pastel. It's um, a really nice elasticated waist and the elastic has not gone at all. So I, te I tested that um nice buttons there i don't really think it doesn't really have any signs of wear at all it's really nice condition she says she'll probably find a rip now as i say that um the problem is the label has been cut out which is a bit of a shame um so it just means i'll have to try and measure up and so i always put the measurements anyway but i always try and sort of guesstimate a um a size based on that um Okay, so that was it for the last two. The first one I went to is my favourite one. Never used to go to it um, when I before I became a reseller. It was always um, I used to go to car boots all the time. But yeah, now I've been. It's the first one that was open, so I started going there. And even though the others are kind of opening, that's the one. That's my favourite one at the moment. That's the one I'm still going to. There's a lot of traders that do house clearances, and they bring a lot of new clothes every week. So for me. Um, like in vintage is perfect so before i got onto the vintage stuff i bought this one um it's a bit more than i usually pay because just because of the the type of things that i usually buy um but it's this coast dress so it's a really nice pattern on it it's kind of a midi dress it's a bit it's quite flared so like an a-line flare there but it's um the problem and why i almost didn't pick it up is that it's a size eight and as i said earlier i don't have a lot of success with the with size eights um but meh it's brand new it's from coast haven't flipped a coast dress before but i know they're quite popular the sleeves are detachable which is great the label is still attached um it does have this bag which i assume had the straps in but the straps have been put on um but obviously the tags are still on it's got some spare some spare loops on there but the rrp was originally um 95 and it's been dropped it's been in the sale by the looks so about 39 pounds so um yeah i'm gonna have to have a look um what coast usually sells for i have no idea to be honest with you but it just seemed too good a chance to miss. He wanted eight, then he wanted six, and then I was umming and iron because of the size, and he eventually, I think he just wanted me to go from his store because I was there looking at this dress for ages. Um, so I got it for a fiver. So for that, I'll take that. Oh, I don't know whether I said, but the last skirt, the blue one, um, that was a pound. So that's why I went for that one. Now, my favourite lady at the car boot, she has some really cool things. This whole bag was nine eight pounds. I can't remember really what's in it and how many of everything. So most of her clothes are either 50p or a pound. So I need to double check and work out price per item and stuff. But um this one, I'm probably gonna keep it. It's just this really nice um vest top. Probably gonna keep it, but if it doesn't fit whack it on ebay but it's really nice actually i really love the pattern of it might be a bit too see-through to me for me so it might actually end up going on ebay but we'll see next up is this um i believe this was a st michael yes so this is again a st michael made in the uk as standard um size 16 according to that 
this one it's got the later label on which i believe is the 90s label um it has got unfortunately some marks on the back um which i'm gonna have to put the elbow grease on see if i can get them out fingers crossed that will come out we will see but this is just a really i love the pattern on this one it's just that kind of it's it's almost like um like the vintage plates that you get with like the blue floral design this what even is this what is this what have i bought i see it, it seems so long ago now i can't remember what it was um just a nice little blouse um with some really cute puff sleeves um yeah just a short little one so this is a viella um jacket it's got some full on shoulder pads on this one i i think that they're, they're actually sewn in so i can't show you but the shoulder pads on this one are like it's my hand is getting right in there so really nice hangs tooth um design nice big buttons buttons on the arms no idea how much i'm gonna sell this for um yeah not a clue that's item number five i think then this one is polka dot so that's it's another skirt i've bought another skirt it's a cna kanda um pleated polka dot love polka dot skirts they sell really well for me size 14 nice elasticated waist so that's great that's number six another dress size 16 apparently um again just a casual um just a summery nice lightweight dress it is a, a bit more lightweight than some of the others um it's kind of like a satiny feel so i might put it on for 12 um maybe just because because it is doesn't have like the as much to it as some of the others so yeah number seven so i think most of these then have actually been 50p maybe some of these have been 50p which is amazing really cool design on this one it's it's a big size i'm not sure again i don't think it has a label on it i'll have a look um on the sides later but it's just from holding it up it seems quite a big size again if all the buttons are there and there's no holes or anything um i'll try probably 15 for that one so number eight I've, i don't even know what I'm number one and this one made in sri lanka so perhaps it's a bit more modern maybe it's 90s rather than 80s on this one but it's got a cute button up at the back um pleated nice vibrant sort of bright pattern not quite not almost bleh, not quite neon but not far off so yeah 12 15 for that one okay and the last two things that i got from her uh, I've got two pairs, I believe, of um, vintage Daymart slippers, I think. They're brand new, in the box, they've got the tags, the, tag, the sticker has sort of rolled up a little bit in there. Um, either slippers or potentially, I know they use the chlorofiber for filling of general shoes, so... Um, but yeah, I've already got a pair similar to these that are listed at the moment, which are, in fact... I believe the same as these she's got a load of new oh no i bought the different ones actually these are st michael um shoes like little um moccasin type things with a bit of a heel again brand new they've got the labels inside size seven um yeah those i know are a pound each because i bought some of those from her before so and lastly, this is again a guy that I buy things from quite a lot. Whole bag for a tenner. Again, jumper for me. Um, so again, I'll have to work out the prices for all of these. But he has always has some really nice dresses. He had a lot less than last week. But this one is, again, I think it's hideous. Which means it will probably sell, fingers crossed. But it's got like this frill neck which is just it's just awful but yeah I, I it's not for me i shouldn't say it's awful it's really lovely that might be going a bit far actually to be fair but it's um a peretta 
no idea um london so made in england apparently size 14 so i'll just have to double check that so it's just that rough like why why but yeah i'll probably put this one on for a little bit more because it is unusual i haven't ever seen one like that before so we'll see how that one goes um please don't say this is a skirt have i bought another skirt no so this is an honor milburn dress I have a feeling that Honor Milburn was at the Edinburgh Woollen Mill because I bought a skirt from there that does say EWM, which that's what I assume it stands for. I may have got that completely wrong. Just a really nice summery dress, really. So I just really like the pattern on it. So I got that one. I think it'll probably work out. I would say I'm not sure how many I've got, but I think it works out as pound, one pound fifty each. So for that, can't go wrong. Really like it. Don't know if there's a market. Have to have a look. Talking of, um, I got this Honor Melbourne at EWM. In fact, actually, I think I don't know again if you can see, but I think there's that little logo on there. It's really hard to see. Um, I think that is the Edinburgh, Edinburgh Woolen Mill <laughs> spare button, which is good really nice purple um pleated it's got like a check pattern on there as well yeah again not really sure what market they'll be for that but i thought for the price um yeah gives me something to list so and then this is more like what i'm kind of used to it's hamels dress i've never sold a hamels before the eight is again full-on shoulder pads like massive shoulder pads on this one um about Right. um yeah really nice that one i think it's just nice and summery again not sure what size it is i have to work that one out another it's the pretty much the same as the um the purple one another honor milburn this one's a brown one kind of looks a little bit more school uniform like old school school uniform old school school uniform um so yeah not sure if this one will go as well as the purple one but i'll probably put 10 maybe 12 depending on when i have a look at the um completed on ebay and lastly i picked this one up i don't usually pick up supermarket um ones unless they are unless there's something special about them or if they're a maxi dress so this one is a maxi dress and um, there's no way i'm going to be able to fit this in the camera oh. <laughs> so it's it's the sainsbury's too um but it's polka dot it's got a frill and it's a size 18 so between the fact that it's oh actually no it's not it's a jumpsuit it turns out the legs are so wide i thought it was a dress but no it's a jumpsuit so that is completely not what i was expecting yeah fingers crossed i'll have a look it's still a nice polka dot design size 18 so it was obviously summer at the moment it's the best time to sell things like this so seven in total for a tenner so just over a pound each so can't go wrong so that is my first ever haul video it's gone on a little longer um i'll have probably trim some of it down because i'm like on 40 minutes at the moment um yeah i'm gonna put up a sales video um in a few days but yeah thank you ever so much for anyone that's watched it really appreciate it um obviously it is my first video so hopefully i haven't done too badly and um yeah i'll be putting up sales so if any of these items do actually sell um then yeah keep keep an eye out and see what they what I get from in the end